Hello friends, my name is Nixon and today I thought I should share with you friends I have been uh, uh, getting uh, some emails asking me about the use of capos. Um, <clears throat> I have my Luxstar guitar here which I, I normally use. It is my travel guitar, my <laughs> everyday guitar and I have my capo, this one. Um, it is unbranded so I don't know but what I'm sure that it is made in China and I found it in a local market but also I, I got a question of um, uh, in case you don't have a capo you don't have any access to a capo but still you want to use something which can act like a capo so that you can play your gig or play your favorite tune or songs or whatever so um, I was looking what you can do because the function of the capo is basically to hold the strings in a, in a fashion like this so that you can play your favorite tune for example let us say you are playing a song here and you are not comfortable with that voicings maybe you want to raise it a, a bit maybe here and play it like this you can even raise it more if you think that 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 is still low for you so i want to just demonstrate that the function of the capo basically is just to 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 act like a nut uh, which is pulled on this side <coughs> up so that you can play your favorite song by going to higher if maybe you want to sing and your voice or the one who is singing his or her voice is higher so that you want to raise it so that is the function of the capo is only to hold the string so that to mimic the function of the nut as if it is moved to, to whether wherever you want it to be so in case you don't have a capo and you still want to have that effect you can find anything um, that can um, act as a capo but since it does not have the mechanism of holding uh, back to the, the guitar then you have to find the mechanism for holding it so what I did I found a, um, a bunch of uh, rubber bands like these ones and I, I have two pencils like this one Basically, you can use uh, anything that is smooth and small, like a pencil, maybe a small metal rod, or maybe um, a dry stick which is smooth. Uh, is smooth. Let us say you are in the, in the um, you are camping and you don't have a pencil. Say you can use a, a small stick that is uh, maybe short like this, and maybe it is smooth. So what you do, you take a cup of rubber bands. just for demonstration you see if you pull them they they are able to to increase their their diameter like this so what you do you place uh, the pencil where you want to capo uh, in this case let, let us imagine that you want to capo on the second fret here so we want the pencil to be somewhere here not uh, on the fret and not here it should be somewhere in, in the middle so what we do we, we we take the pencil we put it on uh we <coughs> we put it like this then we put it on the fret where we want it to be then we pull the rubber bands so that they can hold the 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 pencil on this side and we can push or pull like this and if the rubber bands are too many like this one you can pull to the, to the upside a bit so that they do not touch the string and also I can pull or push on this side so that they don't touch the string as well and you have to try you see like this string it's not well um, captured so we can adjust a bit This, this string has got some problems because uh, 
the, the nut here is a little bit broken so let us push it to the third fret maybe like here so this is this is working so now let us say if you want to to play your tune or your progression here you see it works and the advantage of this one is that uh, you can easily move to any other fret by just pushing or pulling them depending on where you want it to be so let us say I want to put it on the fourth fret I just push it like this and it is already there the fifth like this you see so I think that is uh, enough for demonstration so uh, to answer the questions to those who have been sending me emails um, I would say that you 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 just need a pair of rubber bands and something smooth um, dry maybe like a, a dry stick or if you get a pencil or a pen that will be enough but also again if you don't have um, rubber bands like this let us say you are camping and you don't have a specialized rubber band like this you can use a shoelace if you have a shoelace like um, from your sneakers which have got a, a, a rubber on it then you can use that one but also you can use a rubber that is used to wrap up some uh, any packages then you can use them instead of rubber bands just in case you don't have it the, the idea here is to use as, as as simple as available instrument that you can use to make a kaibo in case you don't have it but otherwise uh, you should remember every time you are traveling or you are going for a gig situation you should have your capo with you so that you can use it wherever you need for me i normally <clears throat> i normally like to put it here so that uh, every time i go with the guitar it should be here in case i'm putting it on a, on a gig bag uh, I, maybe i make sure that before the guitar the capo starts because when you need it and it's not there is a little bit frustrating for those who plays guitars so i hope this uh, small tutorial is uh, helpful for you and if you have questions comments uh, queries you can just uh, uh, drop me an email you can just comment in the description below and i'll be happy to help otherwise i'll see you in another video bye for now